Welcome to Electra Online. Well, when it comes to the Dell operator and how it applies to operating on, on uh, scalar functions and on vector functions, there's all kinds of rules. So let's start with the simple ones first and then we'll go on with the next so many videos on the more complex rules. And even though they're complex, they're very useful, so at least should be familiar with them. So first, let's take a look here. We have the Dell operator operating on the sum of two functions. These are scalar functions, so we can then simply separate them and operate on the scalar function on the first one plus the Dell operator operating on the second scalar function. We can simply use what we call the distributive property and that works for scalar functions as it works on vector functions when we use the dot product and the cross product on these vector functions. So notice that we can use the distributive property on scalar functions and vector functions both for the for the uh, dot product and the cross product multiplications. Now what if we have a constant multiplied times a scalar function or a constant multiplied times a vector function and we either find the gradient, the divergence or the curl. It doesn't matter we can take that constant and simply move it in the front. So here notice we can make the take the constant to the front, take the constant to the front, take the constant to the front, it doesn't matter. It works on all cases like that. These are the simple rules when we're dealing with the Dell operator. And at least you should have seen it once so you know that you could do that safely without any problems. But now we're going to look at some more complicated rules, so stay tuned if you're interested. And that is how it's done. All right, let's take a look at these more complicated rules. Hmm. 